This is a quick video just to show you how to put together the ZMR to Vortex conversion kit uh, that we've just designed and released. You can find it on our website uh, and it's also it will be put on eBay soon as well. Uh, this is what you'll get. So first thing you need obviously is the ZMR 250 frame. This is an old one I've got here but basically take it apart get rid of the arms the only bits you need to keep are these parts and you need two of them so I'll just chuck that out of the way so I've already got two here and these are my two plates and you can see what I've done is I've used a hacksaw and I've cut out these parts here and I'll show you how to do that but, uh, you get the box, there's the contents inside there. So the first thing you're going to want to do is ignore the cut out on that side there. Get two of the arms out and you want to just use a couple of the screws or a couple of existing screws that you've got with a couple of nuts and just literally put one in each arm. And then what I did was, you can see these grooves here I've cut along parallel to the arm how it sits to that first groove across there and then the same on the other side so you can see when that arm's on there and on there that's how it's how it looks when it's finished and you need to do that for both both plates so they look the same like that okay once you've done that get your four arms out and you need the plastic bits, the ESC covers, four of them, and then the, there's a kit in here, the one that says arm screws on it, and you need the eight of the M3 by six millimeter screws out of this bag. Okay, and put the rest to the side. Get one of your SC covers, get your arm, slot it on top, and get your screws, and just screw that into the arms like that. Okay, when that's done, just stick them to one side, put the rest of the screws to one side as well. Next you'll need the standoff kit one, uh, and it's got two 25mm standoffs and uh, four 6mm screws, and also you need the standoff kit two. Which will have some five millimeter spaces, two nuts, and two M3 by 12 mil screws. So, what you need to do with this is get your top plate out, your cam plate. What you need, put the screw through the top with a spacer. So, that goes up through this one. Stick your nut on the back. And then do the same for the other hole. And then you go and tighten them up. Okay, that's that part done. Next you want to get your 25mm spacers and your 6mm screws and just pop them on there and there and just 
keep your other two six mil screws to one side for a minute. These two bits connect, so now you've got your cut to the back and you've got your cut to the front on the piece you've just assembled. So what you want now is you want this section, you want your two plastic sides, which I haven't got out. I'm going to show you this in the red. <laughs> and you want your grooves to the top, that way. And you'll have one on that side there, and it uses the innermost holes on the inside there. And then what you're going to need, just for now, is get four of the longer screws. which are 26 mil just pop one that hole there so on the inside there you see that and then the same again on the bottom there and then you want to put your spacer on the top of them some of these might want a little bit of a fettle out with a the drill bit just from where they touch the bed. Just give them a little bit of a twirl. And just use a bigger drill bit just to get some of the bare bits off. Okay. So I'll stick that over your screw. And then the same with the other one. Stick that in through that hole. And then you want to put the other two in the same similar holes, the inner. Like that. So you've got your spaces lined up there now. Next, what you want to do. Just get your arms, just place them on top of the hose, just like that for now, and then pop your top plate on. Like that. And just put a couple of the nuts on the back there. So once you've got them on there, get another six of these longer screws and just put them downwards that way in through and out the bottom. Stick a nut on. Once you've got all them back three on, just give them a nip, tighten them up. Right, and then what you're going to want to do is get your next ones in, put them through the bottom. show you the rest of the screws you get the idea anyway 
Once that's done, you need your vibration balls. Stick them in the hose. And then you want your cam plate. <coughs> That's it. Obviously, uh, your motor caps would go on once you're screwing your motors through into the arm, through the arms, and straight into your motors. ESCs inside the ESC holders, and you've got your cam plate there. And you can see it, it looks a lot like the Vortex 250 Pro. I've designed this top plate with the vibration dampeners so that the Immersion RC GoPro recliner kit will fit straight to that. So if you are going to use a GoPro, I'd recommend buying the Vortex 250 GoPro recliner set. As well as the spacings here for the holes, that, that will fit the plastic cam mount, which you can also buy separately as a, as a, um, a replacement parts for the Vortex if you damage it. Um, and it also comes with the plastic retainers for the vibration dampeners. But yeah, it's a fiddly little frame to put together, but it's it's worth it when it's done. It looks smart, it looks a lot better than the ZMR. And if you're like me, I got bored of my ZMR, I've got three of them. Uh, and I just fancied a change, so I like the look of the Vortex, and I thought, oh, I'll try and do something with that. But hope you like it. Please uh, subscribe and find us on Facebook and like us on Facebook and follow and you'll see any other new designs that are coming up. We've just finished one at the minute, which we call in the Black X250, which is a whole new design. And you can see it's got the camera mounted in the front there, tilted. Again, the vibe plate designed to take the Immersion RC GoPro recliner. It's got a quick release for the, the uh, XT60 connector. It's the X-Frame 250, but we've designed it so that it's quick release for easy repairs. It's just a case of taking these four screws off here on the side, and the whole top plate will lift off. And then you can get in there, solder what you need to solder, replace an ESC, take an individual arm off, and replace the whole thing without having to take everything apart. <laughs> But that's that, and uh, we have got uh, a 160 size frame in the pipeline as well that I'm just prototyping at the minute, so uh, you'll see that soon. Yeah, thanks for watching, um, have a good day, bye.